Welcome back to my channel everyone, hope you're having a lovely day. I thought I would show you how to do a very simple acrylic marble and a little bit of basic freehand with some daisies. So I'm using Nell Visions and this is a beautiful yellow that's called On the Bright Side. It has iridescent glitter in it, that's absolutely stunning. And I'm coming in with a beautiful blue called Caribbean Dreams. These two are amazing together. So I did a little bit of marble here, adding a little bit of uh, coconut milk and clear just to slightly marble it up without making a huge mess. <laughs> it actually came out quite nice. So there's the coconut milk that I have just slid in between the yellow and the blue there I'm working quite thinly as I'm going to be capping these nails in clear acrylic good thing about doing a marble design is you can just go back in and add where you feel you need an extra bit of colour until you like what you see. So I'm using my NSI number 12. I absolutely love this brush. I can't remember where I got it from. I'm trying to hunt down another one. So if anybody can tell me where that brush is, I'm in the UK, so if anybody could let me know if you've seen this particular brush, please drop me a link in the comments because I would dearly love to get another one. It's absolutely amazing. So on this particular nail, I just added a little bit of coconut white, a tiny little bit of on the bright side, because I'm coming back to do something on that one later. And on this one, I'm just going to do a straightforward ombre. On this one, I'm doing a reverse ombre, exactly the same as the index, but the colours are reversed. So on the pinky, I just came in with a full on the bright side. It is such a beautiful acrylic powder that I was, had to have a full no in it because it's just absolutely stunning. What's funny about this is I completely forgot my hand was leaning on one of the nails so watch this. And there we have it, a classic rookie mistake. I pulled the nail clean off as it was stuck to the underside of my hand. Brilliant, but it's okay, because all these things can always be fixed. As I show you here, as I lay on a very, very small sliver of the coconut milk and just go back in with a slight bit of the on the bright side, because I'm gonna come back and do a nice design on that middle nail later on.
Here on the index finger, I just did a classic straightforward ombre. These two colours are meant to be together. They are so beautiful and they are so easy to ombre as well. I actually think it's easier if you ombre the glitter on the bright side over a solid colour than to do it in reverse, which I will be showing you in a minute on the thumb. Had I thought about this at the time, I would have actually have put the on the bright side glitter over the blue, but instead I decided to put the solid blue over the glitter, which of course made it a little bit more trickier to ombre, but with a bit of faffing around, we managed to get there in the end. And I didn't mind so much as I was putting some freehand daisies over the top of this particular nail. So it was really just background. As it wasn't really blending that well, I just went in and added a little bit more yellow to the tip there just to get rid of that little bit of blue that was still showing through. I wasn't too worried about the blend of this ombre on the thumb as I was doing a design over the top with some freehand simple daisies which I did off camera just to speed up the process so it doesn't get too boring for you but I left this one in just so that you can see very simple tiny little brush and just a little bit white gel polish coming in from the sides and going into the middle cure it under the UV lamp and then put your centers in with yellow I'm going to let you watch the rest of this because you probably had enough of my voice right now and here's some music for you. So now I've put the middles in and I've cured them under the lamp. I'm actually using a nail lacquer, which is like polish. This will dry super quick, like stamping polish. A reason why I used this was because I really wanted the metallic in that gold, other than to a glittery one that would not have had the same effect. Um, so I'm just putting in a random design. I literally just made it up on the spot, but I knew what I wanted to put over the top. So I'm just gonna let you continue to watch this because it will go on for a few seconds. This actually air dries, but I did actually nuke it in the lamp for about 10 seconds just to make sure it was completely dry before I capped it in clear acrylic. So I'm just putting in the last few lines just to complete this now. I'm going to wait for it to fully dry and nuke it in the lamp. And then I'm going to put tiny little daisies over the top.
I'm just going to put some stems in, in gold, and link one daisy to another in a slight curved effect, so a bit like a daisy chain. watching this I just thought I would remind everybody out there on YouTube um, my nail group uh, nail text room to view on Facebook is having a big summer competition uh, where we will have sun UV lamps lots of acrylic lots of nail accessories pretty much everything a nail tech would just love to win so if you would like to have a chance to win some of these goodies we have a beginner an intermediate and an advanced category, please pop on over to Facebook and come and join in the fun. So now I'm just capping the nails in crystal glass. I've already added my little tiny daisies to this particular nail and cured it under the lamp before I come in and cap it in the clear. I use CJP as my core system and nail visions for all my beautiful colours. I did go back over some of the daisies just to highlight some of the petals here and there, just to give it a little bit of depth. So I went back over all the nails just to build up my structure. It didn't really matter so much on this particular set as it was only on a practice hand. Uh, had it been a client, obviously I would have taken a lot more care. Hello Starry, sorry my dog's just come out. <laughs> anyway, so moving on. Um, yes, yeah, so I go back over some of the nails just to put in a bit of a better apex. By the way, the flexi hand is an amazing hand. I recommend it to anybody, whether you are a beginner or whether you've been doing nails for years and you just want to practice some new designs. This is definitely the hand for you. All the nails, you can just buy stiletto nails or coffin shaped nails full well and they just literally slide in to the fingers and you just slide them on back out again. Fantastic. No soaking off, no filing off. Just push in, pull out. I'll leave the links in the description so that you can find all the products that I have used within this set today. Flexi Hand, Premier Gel and CJP and Nail Visions. I left these all to dry and then I filed all of the nails in off camera to save you a little bit of time ready for the top coat which is now so this particular time and although I love my rubber top coat from Premier Gel this is their high shine 
no wipe top coat which I absolutely love and it really is a high shine there's always a little bit of fluff isn't there you always find that one little bit of fluff and later on I go back and find another bit so bloody annoying don't forget to cap all your nails with your top coat and I usually wipe off the excess with my fingers down the side walls. So here I am coming in with the last little bit of top coat and then what I will do is I will literally take my finger and run it across the free edge and down the sides to take off any excess top coat like so. This enables to keep the shape of your lovely crisp filed nails and it will stop the top coat from making the edges too rounded. There's that other little bit of fluff. It annoyed me so much I actually just went in and put another bit of top coat on. <laughs> So after I blitzed these in my sun UV lamp, this is the reveal. I think they came out really cute. I love the daisies. The colours merge so well together. It's such a simple design that any one of you can do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you again in the next video. Bye.